So I want to start off this video by showing you guys something absolutely ridiculous and absolutely hilarious at the same time. So the S plus taxidermy bases can play animations with a really cool feature. It would be great in vanilla too, but check this one out. Wait for it. <laughs> it's so, like it's such a big flame. Oh my God. Now, obviously this isn't a real flame. It can't ever hurt anything because that's a dermis, right? But like, oh my God, this flame's gigantic. I feel like we need to make like a giant, like statue of Bender dressed as a Pharaoh and put that into the mouth. I'm sure a lot of you will get that reference. A very, very old reference. Anyway, uh, that is just ridiculous. Like, I, I kind of want to actually do something with this. I just don't know what it's going to be. Anyway, uh, so yeah, here's some of the other animations in case you're curious. So it can kick up a crap ton of dust, which is cool. And then there's this one too, which is very nice. They're very loud. I wish there was a way of turning off the sound for this or something. That is a weird looking animation. And then that's the idle one. Very, very nice. And now we're back to the fire. All right, let's just switch back to the idle one. Uh, here's some of the other ones, actually, because we've got the Megapithecus in here as well. Um, so, boom. It just kicks up a crap ton of dust with that. Uh, let's see if I can... There we go. It's pounding its chest. That's probably a better one because it doesn't have dust everywhere. More dust everywhere. And then there's this one. Oh, my God. Where's my frame rate gone? Jesus. That nearly killed my game. And then we've just got this one, the idle-ish one. That's pretty cool. And now I remember the Broodmother. I showed this off in a video as well. This one's... This one's a little bit uh, not safe for work. Not this part. There's another one. That's pretty cool, though. Um, it's just not as big as the Dragon's Flame. Uh, so I think it's the next one after this. Yeah, this one's a little bit... Uh, ooh, no. <laughs> We're just going to move past that one. Uh, very, very nice, though. Yeah, these, these freaking um, animations on the taxidermies are, like, such a cool idea. And it definitely can bring a whole lot of life to uh, just a couple little, like statues around the place so yeah we might have to i don't know if we're gonna use the animations in the museum we might use the idle animations or something but i feel like we could probably do something with it provided that there isn't a crap ton of dust and sound coming off of them anyway guys today we're gonna go ahead and build up some tech we're gonna obviously we have tons of things to check out now we have everything almost from the tech tier so we got to check them all out the armor the teleporters everything and we can kit up our whole area with all of this stuff as well so go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one really just help me out i do appreciate it and uh yeah let's let's just build up a tech suit i mean like we got it let's see where where is it there all right one piece thank you very much uh two three oh my god so this is just primitive all oh, right is that primitive I, I don't know if it's actually called primitive but it's like the basic one or whatever i don't have any blueprints because we haven't fought um the titans on extinction just yet but we will at some stage and then we'll get better blueprints and we'll try to crafting skill those uh but yeah let's grab those and then let me actually just chuck all this on first of all and then we're gonna put on the uh what do you call it the uh, Terrian uh, Federation armor or I guess skins so these are skins that are for I gotta actually remove them I have them on armor right now just like cloth armor uh, you can get these skins by doing the um, Genesis Chronicles I haven't really showed it off in videos but I've been checking it out in the background they're very cool notes but um yeah you can get these by just doing those little explore note things and uh, they look very very cool and I went ahead and just painted up a full set of it here and boom it's the only skin that you can put onto tech armor right now um and i gotta say it looks absolutely fantastic let's uh wait do i have any element on me i don't think i do but you know what let's just like run up here and then we'll uh we'll check it out with the element in a minute i just want to get out to the to the light up here because this this armor is amazing like look at that look at that now i know some people always complain about the way i paint my armor i like it I like it as mostly cyan with like a little bit of black to it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really like it. But like, God damn, this looks so cool. So there's one more skin that's to come. Uh, they basically uh, added the gauntlets the other day. And then the helmet's probably going to come out in March at some stage. Hopefully before Genesis Part 2 comes out. Because in that DLC, we're actually going to have this set of armor. It's going to be just a tech suit that you're going to start with. And it's going to be really cool. So, um... I don't know if it's going to do anything different, but it's also got the jetpack on the back right there. And uh, so far, like, you know, obviously this is just a skin, so you can do everything that the normal tech suit can do. But 
I gotta say, like, this is a lot cooler than the current tech suit. Like, I like the tech suit. I've always liked it, but, like, come on. Look at the difference between that. Like, shiny metal as opposed to this cool-looking almost polymer. Oh, it looks so cool. Anyway, we're gonna pop that back on. I'm gonna keep this on because that is really, really nice armor. And let's go ahead and get rid of the helmet. Oh, my God. I love it. I really do. All right. So, let me see. How much element do I have left in here? uh yeah we've got a crap ton uh, we can actually head over to Eggfall with some of the stuff that we're gonna build and then we can also grab some more element from there uh all right let's build up all of the stuff by the way replicator is small because i changed the setting in s plus if you want to figure it out check out the s plus uh mod setting thingies um all right so dedicated storage is something that we're going to be doing now i eventually will make a room with every single item um with like you know dedicated storage for every single item but for the moment i'm just gonna need a few of them because i'm actually just gonna pop some over at egg falls so i'm just thinking um where's the s plus one dead there we go cool oh we also have the intake that we can make i feel like we should make that uh we no i meant to click on that one boom so this is a like an s plus only version so obviously this came from s plus and then they added it to vanilla uh, i think they changed it slightly but they never added the intake which is a pretty cool little uh like item i guess if you run up to it and just punch it or hit e on it or whatever uh it, you basically put all of your items into the respective dedicated storage boxes all around your base or whatever within the range of it so um yeah it's a pretty cool thing i really would have thought it would have been a great idea for them to actually like you know add that into vanilla as well it makes sense you know item like being items kind of like being moved around with tech i don't know that kind of makes sense to me all right let's see um so we produce four items over at the farm plus the ingots that i smelt which i don't necessarily know if i want to even make one for there you know what let's just make four for the moment maybe if i want i can add a couple extras over there but for the moment four is going to be good for us um can hit to the deposit oh it doesn't work on pv okay grand i was getting confused why it said that um but yeah let's see almost got it and that is four also in s plus they also act as like little fridges which is pretty cool so you can put your food into there too um that's obviously what we're gonna be doing so let's see uh let's get rid of that is there anything else i actually need right now um teleporters how expensive are those because i remember they were pretty expensive uh that's nice Beltella. <laughs> there we go wait where's the s plus one uh mm, okay hang on did he remove the s plus teleporter what wait oh no there it is oh okay oh uh, that's confusing so technically i should have that unlocked but i don't because it's an engram and i've already passed that level so i should have that unlocked I wonder could I just craft some of these and then just convert them cuz like there's uh, there's an easy way I can unlock this I just have to You know what? I think if I die, I think if I die that should fix it, right? Let me go ahead and eat some respawn candy over here. Let's see. Uh they're in here. There's some respawn candy. Boom. There we go. <laughs> All right. That makes it a hell of a lot easier. I'm pretty sure the engrams should pop into uh existence now. Let's see there we go cool so that's probably the engrams i was missing um just a weird bug to be honest i don't really understand why he added all of the tech rums for s plus things into the engram list it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me the way that it's done but you know what hopefully we won't have issues with that in the future all right let's see okay so we got we got to get a teleporter for this base obviously we're gonna get one for egg fall and then one for the uh breeding area as well and I think that's it for the moment. Eventually, we'll probably need tons of them. But for the moment, that should be good. Let's go ahead and pop these on. Um, where's the helmet? There we go. Boom. And let's drop that. Okay. So I should have these now, right? Tella. Boom. All right. So, okay. So they cost 85 element. I probably don't have enough to make. Yeah, I, I probably only have enough to make like one of these. Let's see oh yeah no just one cool all right well let's let's at least place this over by egg fall i can actually use the where is it again personal oh how do you do that oh i think it's done on the yeah it's done on this thing now right that's how you use the personal teleporter i think it's like a little s plus setting where or i guess item i guess or whatever uh let's see yeah right here okay yeah it's been a while since i've actually like checked this stuff out so haven't actually had a chance to really um use the s plus like teleporter or anything like that 
since all those changes came through. Anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, look at this. This tax suit is so cool. I'm just gonna run there. It's better than flying. Like, look at this. This is so cool looking. <laughs> all right, hello, Eggfall. This is our little power store farm, by the way, in case you're confused. Boom. Uh, tech power stores, obviously, to make a crap ton of element and a bunch of other things. All right, so we have a vault in here. We can go ahead and get rid of that. Um, we've got a lot of stuff in there, though. Let's first of all at least get some of these placed down. Um, maybe I can do like two and then two like that. That looks good, right? Yeah, I think I like that. All right, so let's see. Maybe we'll do we'll do this one as um, element dust. Oh, L element dust. So that one's for element dust. This one could be for scrap scrap metal. And then over here, we've got maybe electronic, electronics, and then oil. Let's see. Okay, cool. And now we just got to, well, you know what we can do? We can go ahead and place down this intake just real quick and just go ahead and I think I can enable dyno deposit. How do I do it again? Oh, you know what? I think we can consolidate by just going up to it. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to pull all of the uh resource of whatever type the the thing is set to right into it so yeah this is this is what we have like we have so much stuff here so if i had some of those resources on me which i can go ahead and grab actually Let's see come here give me oh you don't have anything apparently what the hell didn't you just kill something why don't you have any oh i just consolidated yeah that's dumb <laughs> so obviously it does pull it off of the therizino too uh let's see Okay, so if I go up here, I can just deposit and it's just going to go straight into wherever I have those. So let's go ahead and just pick this up. I don't really want this here. I could probably put it into here. And then whenever the Therizino hits it, then it would deposit. But hmm, I don't know if I want that because it might kind of be in the way. All right. Well, you know what? Maybe we can try it out. Maybe we can put it in there for the moment and just see how it goes. Let's just move the theory out of the way. I want to like roughly put this in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, sure, that will work. Boom. Um, enable dino touch deposit. There we go. Okay, so once my Therizino touches that thing, it should start depositing all of its... I oh my God, seriously? It should start depositing all of its items into the uh, dedicated storage, right? Or do I have to be on it? I don't see any of these boxes increasing so probably not i don't yeah does it do it by itself at all maybe i actually have to be on it let's see boom yeah okay i think i actually might have to be on it so that probably makes sense all right whatever so yeah i mean it's not the most useful thing in there but you know what maybe we'll keep it in there for the moment i'll probably put it directly in the center i can do that pretty easily but i don't have a ladder on me so i can't really do that right now uh we can probably go ahead and get rid of this vault right here yeah all right um so i mean we could we could also maybe put some like uh some more dedicated storage down i do have quite a lot of scrap metal ingots i gotta move these over to the base at some point but um I don't really have anything on me right now that can carry all of that. Um, I guess we can do scrap metal ingots, and then I don't know what the last one would be. Maybe we can put one over here for element as well. We can do, like, element dust, element, scrap, me scrap metal ingots, and then scrap metal or something. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. You see, I'd like it to be kind of, like, uniform if we're going to do that. So, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, we have enough element dust here to craft up uh, 12 more element, which is great. Um, I think what we're going to do for element in the future is we're probably just going to head over to Genesis because that's like the easiest map to get it on. You could just go there and harvest it by by just hitting uh, some things with uh, your pickaxe or whatever. So definitely a very nice place to go. Um, where should I put my teleporter? Let's see, probably like over here, let's say. Uh, we're going to need to turn down the range on it a lot so it doesn't teleport any creatures. Definitely don't want that. Uh small range can i show the range i think i can right there we go okay yeah, perfect yeah i don't want to teleporting anything especially those power stores up there because that would be a nightmare to try and like place everything back in the same spot so 
Uh, obviously, we don't have another spot to teleport to, but once I do, I'll have uh, egg fall over here. I'll have wherever I think maybe my base is somewhere over here. And then we'll also have the uh, the breeding area as well. So obviously, I just need more element for all that stuff. We'll get that at some stage. Like, I just, I don't want to use it all on teleporters right now, but at least we have the kind of idea down. And actually, we should probably name this one. Um, rename. There it is. So, egg. Ooh, egg fall. Is that how I have it down? I think, yeah, that works, right? Do I have it down that way in the map? Or is it like one word? No, that's it. All right, cool. So if we want to, we can go ahead and use the Omni tool. If I can see it, there it is. We can use the Omni tool to just go ahead and teleport into here whenever I want, which is gonna be fantastic. Like just being able to like move around like this all the time. Wait, teleporter with enough power. Uh, what? Why, what do you mean I don't have access to a teleporter with enough power? Do I have to have more than one generator around this thing? Okay, I might need to look into that. Hmm. Do you need like extra power or something? Like what is happening? I don't understand. Huh. It should be like, I have a tech generator over here. This is confusing. It should definitely be in the range. I mean, like, look at that. That's gigantic. Maybe I need more than one. I don't actually know. I might need to look into that, but for the moment, yeah, I don't seem to be able to, to do any teleporties. So yeah, we'll figure that out at some point. Um, we gotta wait for all these therazine or <laughs> for all these power source to get harvested unless those eggs are just gonna start growing up and we're gonna have an issue. Oh, I still have the dodo on over there. Yeah, okay. Oh, we just transferred. I think we transferred because we like walked into it. Okay, so it doesn't actually have to hit it. It just has to walk into it. But I don't know if it will transfer it by itself without me being on it. I don't think it will. So yeah, we might have to, I don't know if we'll bother really doing that. Yeah. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Let's see. Where's the exit? There it is. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell because this whole freaking like area right here is very it's very similar like in every direction. So, yeah. Okay, we got to figure out this teleporter thing. I'm not exactly sure about that, but yeah, we'll figure it out. It's fine. Um so yeah, we've got tons of resources. We'll try and work with those at some point soon. Um but yeah, we have just so much stuff to do now. I think I just need to try and get some more elements. So, I might try to do that don't know we could probably just go over to genesis with a mining drill and then maybe i can craft some stuff over there and then bring it back that's probably the easier option because obviously you can't bring element through the obelisk um you can bring element dust through which is why you want to actually try to harvest that sometimes but um one thing that i can do which is like kind of a modded thing uh in the stack mod they actually added this custom version of element that you can bring through obelisks so if I want to, I could just start turning it all into, uh, you know, element over there, this type of element, and then bring it over here. But I don't know if I want to really use this. I'll have to think about it. But yeah, that's that's an option for us. But um, yeah, we're going to need some more element to at least get everything else set up around here. Maybe we'll also try to build up like a tech uh, rec saddle or something like that. We also have a tape jar as well. We can make a saddle for that thing. Oh, yes, we have so much stuff to do now. This is great. All right, so we're over here on Genesis now. I brought my replicator so we can easily craft the element, and I also actually have five pieces of just pure element back at my base here. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna try and gather up as much of this stuff as we can. We're gonna head back, craft that all into element, and then I have a little list of things that I'm gonna need. So yeah, this is gonna be really handy. We could just come here a lot and just gather up all of this element whenever we need it. And then also black pearls are also here as well, which is fantastic. Uh, we gotta watch out because there's a magma sore like right up there and I'm kind of just a little bit nervous about that thing shooting fireballs down at me. Would not like that. We're gonna drop the stone as well, by the way. Uh, wanna mostly fill up on actual element. All right, so we have tons of element shards here. Let's see. Uh, we wanna first of all actually craft those into elements. So it's 100 shards for one piece of element. So honestly, like you can just make tons here it's it's the best place to come if you ever need element you can just craft everything here and then move it to other maps like so easy i don't know why they made it this easy as well like it kind of seems a little bit odd but you know what i'm not gonna complain this is pretty nice all right so let's see um i'm gonna need some teleporters i also brought over a crap ton of uh scrap metal ingots as well so we want this right there we want actually probably two of those 
craft another oh i need 61 more element and what did that say crystal as well all right understandable okay so how much element am i yeah i've only got like 24 left yeah these things are very expensive they really are we're gonna have to do a massive binge over here let's see wait uh teleporter um yeah they cost 85 so unfortunately i do need one more but maybe we could just take a little look at what else we might need i do want a transmitter um that could be a really nice way of just getting to other maps probably having one of those at every single one of my bases would be really nice uh i do know that they have the dino scan feature in s plus we're gonna we're not gonna use that obviously i don't really want to um you know it just eh, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit too far you know if, if you get my drift anyway so we're not going to use that but we will have transmitters anyway just to be able to actually get around the maps and everything like that um i can't seem to see the s plus one there but i'm sure it's there somewhere just realized we could oh wait no okay now nah, yeah okay i thought this one right here was the element dust into uh shards and i actually do have a little bit of element dust over here as well but um all right let's see what else can we make then so i want the transmitter it's gonna cost me 40 element I'm probably also gonna maybe want maybe a rec saddle that's another 40 so that's 80 element in total and I'm gonna need 85 for the other thing I probably will want two more dedicated storage if I could find the other one let's see let's make two more of those boom um let's see what else do I want uh probably a couple more feeding troughs and generators around the place would be nice too yeah we're gonna have to do a massive binge over here i'm gonna just try and get some more um element you see the issue is is that there's that one nice little spot that i was at in the volcano but the other spots there are creatures all the way around that area so i don't necessarily want to actually try to gather the element uh shards from those areas because you know i'd have to fight my way through magnosaurs to get to it so maybe we'll wait a little bit head back over and see if we can manage to scrounge up a little bit more element from that area that previous area that we were at like i said like i really don't want to have to fight a crap ton of magnosaurs plus they just keep coming <laughs> they just the respawn rate of magnosaurs is ridiculous so that one little spot is like the only safe area um all right well yeah we have a little shopping list let's get it done so i just remembered that the emote mod and the tech suit work very well together this is honestly silly looking <laughs> i love it so much though i can't stop look at this like what on earth you could even do like power punches like look at this this is so silly oh my god all right anyway so i've set up some stuff around the place here uh we've obviously crafted up a bunch of stuff over on uh genesis and now we're back on uh valgiro and right here i have something very interesting from s plus what is it called the transfer control unit now this is something that we could probably use a lot of around the base you can pretty much like set them up to transfer things so like i could run into my base and i could have this thing set up to you know transfer all of the items off of me into a specific box and you know to basically empty up my inventory or whatever but you could also set them up to just basically walk up and you know what i needed some food i'm gonna go ahead and hit that i'm just gonna hit it again it's gonna give me 50 food every single time you can choose the amount of whatever item you want to take or give yourself or whatever and it will just pull it from the uh inventories around you so i just have it pulling it from my fridges over here and uh, whenever i need food i could just go right up to that so yeah obviously it looks like a little helena as well which is kind of cool but uh i don't know i like that a lot we definitely need to set up a couple of those like now that we have a tech suit i feel like one for element could be pretty cool so like you know when i want to i could just go right up to it and refill my element my food and you know maybe some other stuff like that um all right so a couple more things that i have going on here is uh i've set up more of my teleporters so i have one over here i placed it over in this direction here because i didn't really want to block the pathway into the base and also i have mentioned it recently we're probably going to tear this down and build something else and i'm coming up with ideas right now and i have some really cool ones but we just need to make sure that they're gonna work properly before i actually take that on uh, I do like this base, but I honestly kind of feel like the bottom is a major letdown. 
and I don't know what to do with it and I'm not a major fan of the towers and the side and just how it looks in general so yeah we're gonna tear it down we're gonna build probably in tech actually because I've never built like a full-on tech base so uh over here we have the base teleporter we have egg fall as well actually I realized I teleported to there a few minutes ago I should probably just be here to make sure that those eggs actually got hatched up although they probably got picked up by this right I've turned on the hatchery just a little bit just because I kind of feel like we might end up having some explosions if I'm not careful. So I think if we leave the area, the hatchery will pick them up. So obviously, yeah, I just uh, had this thing basically collecting up more uh, items. And now we have six of them as well. I think I pulled all of the... Oh, yeah, we're having a little bit of laggities over here. Uh, yeah, I put all the scrap metal ingots into there so I could just consolidate. Boom! So obviously we had a lot more over here earlier, but I brought a ton of those over to Genesis. So... We're just gonna wait till all of those are gone. I think they are cool. Uh, let's go ahead and teleport out of here. We might move the teleporter maybe out front or something. So I can go back to base if I want to or the breeding br bunker area, which is obviously a spot where I spend a lot of my time. I didn't really know where to put it over here. So I just put it like right out between the uh, the left and the center one. So yeah, um, we have a, what is this? An alpha T-Rex over here? Hello. I didn't even see you before. One thing that I kind of wanted to do, actually, and now we can maybe use that Alpha T-Rex as something to uh, fight. Oh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to go ahead and grab my, um, what do you call it? My little chibi dude. Let's see. Uh, so let's just pull out a Rex here. So these aren't, uh, wait, that was a wild tame, right? Where are the perfect pair ones? Is this, hmm, where are the perfect pair ones? I don't know if I have more than... You know what? I'm just going to use this one here. Hopefully it doesn't die. We got to teleport back and I got to grab my chibi. And then we'll chuck a tech saddle onto this Rex and then take down that Alpha T-Rex with it. Uh, so going back to base. Boom. Nice. Oh, I love teleporters so much. I'm probably going to set a couple of them around the whole map. Like, obviously, you know, at some point soon, we're going to try and build some more stuff in this area. I have a lot of plans for the White Cliffs, and I'll probably mostly fill up this area with, like, cool buildings and stuff like that. Um, and then also farms and different bits. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, we're having a couple of little laggities right now, obviously, because I'm loading in this base. That's another thing about this base. I am not ever going to use the large or extra large walls like the way I did down here because I'm pretty sure that's what's lagging the crap out of my game. Like every single time I come by this base, this down here at the bottom is the main lag and it's really confusing. I'm not sure if it's the pillars or whatever, but I'm pretty sure it's the extra large walls that are just taking up way more... Um, you know whatever ram or whatever i don't yeah it's just it's taking up my frames and it's it's ruining the game <laughs> all right so tech t-rex down tech saddle on the tech t-rex and a little bit of element for it as well boom five for you all right let's go ahead and there we go transform look at this i freaking love the tech saddle honestly it's so cool like this this type of stuff would have been a whole lot nicer if they had made more of it. I really enjoy the tech saddle. Although the aim isn't really isn't really the most fun thing to actually have to deal with. I feel like the aim on this thing could probably be a whole lot better. Oh, look! My turret's helping. Great. Uh, that Well, that's not preferable. But yeah, uh, it's not a whole lot I can do now. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't realize this would happen. All right, hang on. Let me try and... I'll do that so I can actually get some hits in. I want to try and obviously get my chibi. Forgot to put it on. Oof. I almost got hit there. Oh, did we kill it? I think it died. I don't know what it died from. Uh, did we get a level? God, we're so close. We are so close to getting a level. I don't know what actually got the kill. I think it might have been the turret. Damn it. All right. Well, you know what? We got our teeth. Nice. <laughs> that was not as exciting as I thought it would be. Uh, let's actually limit that to three element because I don't have a huge amount right now and I definitely need more. Um, so yeah, let me see. What is around here that we can go and maybe fight that isn't going to get absolutely torn apart by my turrets over here? We got quite a few creatures, but I don't really know what's worth actually killing. We got this Bronto over here. I guess we can go fight it. Look at that though. Like, what is that aim? <laughs> Does it like, it doesn't even shoot where you're actually aiming you, you got to aim like way above what you actually wanting to hit so that's one thing that i don't really like about it but i really do like the actual tech saddles themselves and i really kind of wish that you know throughout 
all this time since they added tech tier, like, what is it, like three years now or something like that? You know, they, they haven't really done a whole lot with the actual tech saddles. We have like a handful of them and then we have, you know, just, yeah, that's it. Like we literally just have a handful of them. That's it. And they haven't really added any more. You know, they never even added the, they made like um, a tech saddle for a Wyvern and also a tech saddle for a Giga. And both of those are in the dev kit and never got added. You've probably seen them in mods because obviously if I'm, you know, if I wanted to, I could just take all the things that Ark made and didn't add and just make mods with that. But um, yeah, you've definitely seen them in mods for sure, I would say. But um, yeah, it's just, it's kind of disappointing how they never added them. Although a tech saddle on a Wyvern nowadays, the fact that you can breed them would probably break the game, maybe. I think so, at least. Anyway, uh, and also, you know what? I guess the Giga doesn't need a tech saddle, but you know, my point is they made them, at least add them. I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's destroy that little Denonicus if we can. There we go, sweet. And we'll take down this Bronto as well. Yeah, tech saddles are really fun though. And yeah, look at that. We're already out of element. I'll pop one more piece in just because I enjoy using them. How much does it use per hit? I think it's like 4%. So yeah, with one piece of element, you get 25 hits, which is actually a good amount. Cause like you do like 435 damage with them. That's uh, it's definitely a good amount. And also just in general, like the tech saddles have 45 armor to begin with, which is pretty good, you know? Not too bad at all. All right, let's see, boom. And we got to kill this Diplo and this Rex for no apparent reason besides the fact that I want to. Uh, so obviously we're going to be working on the tech Rexes and the mutations for those soon. Uh, that is like the next army that I want to try and have up. So far we fought every boss with like a different army. So I think maybe for the Manticore, I might try and actually make an army of Rexes for it because Rexes are a really good creature to take out the Manticore with. So we might try and do that for the Manticore and then do that at some point soon. Those caves over on Scorch are pretty easy and all the tributes and everything are really easy to do. So we could probably knock that out almost in like one day. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't know. That's kind of like an idea. We might do that. I don't know if we're gonna necessarily have a different army for Rockwell. I suppose we'd have, we'd probably go with like the old classic, right? Um, like a bunch of Megalosaurs and then, you know, Rock Drake. I mean, does anybody do Rockwell differently? I know that you can do it on foot if you have enough movement speed, but I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. So yeah, I don't know. It could be, could be kind of interesting though. We could try that, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll probably try to think of some cool ideas to use against Rockwell uh, instead of maybe going with the classic. Maybe I could use my Spinos to be honest. That would probably be pretty good. But uh, yeah, that is gonna be it for today, guys. We have our tech tier stuff now. We're upgrading our whole area here as well. It feels good. It definitely feels good. Now at this stage, we need to just absolutely grind out all of the tech structures to try and come up with ideas and everything for the tech base that I'll be building at some point soon. And um, yeah, this is really exciting. I, I love tech tier and we're finally going to make a gigantic base out of tech and I'm really excited for it. So if you guys are too, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, do all the good stuff and I'll catch you in the next one.